looking at in Australia broadly is a great shift in the health workforce um, to take us into the future, to create a health workforce that will meet future needs. We were heavily inspired by some work from overseas colleagues, particularly at the University of British Columbia and also at the University of Minnesota. They'd been looking at competitive models for student engagement for some time and we felt that, that had some real benefits um, for application in the Australian environment. This whole idea of students working together and learning together has been growing around the world probably since about 1988 when the World Health Organization first published a report promoting teamwork and health care. So we were inspired by the Healthcare Team Challenge as a way to overcome a whole lot of those logistical difficulties to bring students together and learn together outside of their normal timetables. Also we introduce the patient as a as a live part of the competition so that students are actually able to engage with the client to make the experience more authentic. So I think for the interview, seeing as a phone interview, we'll have to take that into consideration. We've only got an hour, which isn't very long, so is there something that we could consider for the phone interview that would make it a bit easier? Because We have quite a, a large pool of experts within the community from a whole range of health professions who make themselves available to the students voluntarily. Students are given an opportunity to contact each mentor three times with fairly specific questions. So they need to, the students need to have completed a level of research and identify perhaps some problems or issues that require um, an expert opinion. And so it's almost a little bit like phone a friend. The Healthcare Team Challenge is essentially it's a, an extracurricular project students volunteer to become involved in. The students are then allocated randomly into teams which are made up of a, a range of professions and provided with a clinical case study and a series of tasks they have to complete around developing a management plan for the, for the person or the client. Um, students then are responsible for, in a quite self-directed way, organising their time, meeting together outside of class, arranging to collect information about this client, about their family situation, and responding to those questions. So that over a period of three weeks, outside of class time, they create a quite complex and detailed management plan. At the end of that planning period, they then attend a quite major public event and, and present what they've completed to an audience and to a panel of judges. What is this evening about? The Healthcare Team Challenge is a public competition between interprofessional student teams who are required to present the best team management plans for a complex clinical case study. In 1993, while on holidays in New Zealand, Jim had a brainstem injury. At the time, he was 49. Jim's injury was very severe, and he was not expected to survive. Jim did survive, and during 19 months in hospital, his condition improved slowly. But he was left with significant physical impairments, affecting his ability to perform many of his usual activities. Jim's family was advised that he would require placement in a nursing home. I miss someone. And then early in the morning, there was no nurse around. And I think, oh, I'm used to shower and dress myself and even make my own bed. And then I realized I can probably. We will provide education regarding his diabetes and rationale for treatment. Jim will need to monitor and record his blood sugar levels daily. Controlled release metformin will be changed to a conventional tablet so it can be crushed. Ladies and gentlemen, 
CareAid adopts a holistic approach to rehabilitate and integrate patients back into the community. We aim to improve and maintain function and independence within the home environment on both the physical and psychosocial level. For Jim, the road to recovery is likely to be a long and winding one, fraught with obstacles and challenges. Through coordinating planning and action, CareAid will help Jim and his family to identify and overcome the issues that stand to block his progress. With our multidisciplinary community-based healthcare team approach, we believe that Jim will be well and truly on the road to recovery. We thank Jim and his family for allowing us to share their journey today. We'd also like to ask him how he's feeling. Is there an emotional component to his weight loss? Um, then we'd also like to do a medical review involving all our team members and Jim to have a look at see if there's any underlying causes. Uh, thirdly, we'd like to further assess his nutrition and probably get a dietitian on, bo on board as well to help incorporate um, making sure that Jim's getting all the nutrients in his body that he needs and maybe having a look at his swallowing assessment. And... Now the focus shifts from our three teams, feeling relaxed, kicked back, and the energies divert to our Junjik panel who are going to take a few minutes to deliberate. When we started working on this project, we realized that in order to make it sustainable, we would have to work with external organizations and attract sponsorship. And we've been very fortunate over the past two years to have a number of sponsors from within the health industry who have provided us with significant sponsorship towards staging the event and contributing to prizes for the students. In 2009 we're planning a national event so we're working with representatives from about eight universities around Australia and they're going through a similar process of developing their own academic groups um, with a view to establishing teams. The idea of, of students working together has been developing around the world in lots of different areas and we've had quite a number of contacts with universities in Singapore, Kuala Lumpur and Bangkok, all of whom are interested in working on an international event. So given that level of interest, we anticipate that the first International Healthcare Team Challenge will be happening in Sydney as part of a major international conference in 2010. Well done, Team 3. Could I ask you to come and accept your award from the Minister? Team 3 is the Care Aid Team. For the Healthcare Team Challenge, one of the wonderful things has been that we've been able to bring the staff from the various professions together to look at developing an event that showcases their professions but also gives the, the staff the opportunity to work in a different way and to then prepare their students for this new health environment that they're going to face, one in which teamwork is absolutely essential. I think what we've learnt has been that in order for interprofessional education to be sustainable and to be effective, we need to take a whole of system approach. And by that I mean that we need to engage both students, practicing professionals, and also professionals who are involved in associations. So every level, plus also in the academic environment, to engage into professional education and practice to change the health workforce of the future. One of the things that we're most pleased about is that we're developing a cohort of leaders amongst the students who will take into professional education in an authentic way into the workforce. And when I'm out working I know who I can call up to get that information if it's not something that I've learned in my degree. Being able to see the benefits of you know knowing what an audiologist does and um, I've had to go out to schools and work with teachers and all these sorts of people to make sure that we're working on the same goals and aims and yeah we we'll work together to achieve things so it was a really yeah great experience and I'm glad I did it. When you're in a hospital, there's a lot of um, importance placed on multidisciplinary treatment and management plans for patients. 
and we get told that that's how it works but we haven't really seen it in practice so seeing that put into practice as a student and knowing that that's how it's going to be when you get out there was really great 